Yo, what is up everybody? It's Dad and today we are going to be giving some more dating advice. Today's topic is six ways to get girls if you're ugly. <laughs> now I keep seeing this fucking question no matter how many times I answer it. I'm pretty sure I've already done like three videos on this topic, but uh Here's the deal. I'm not gonna bullshit you. A lot of guys try to give advice about this and it fucking sucks, okay? I can't stand it when I see a guy trying to give dating advice on how to get girls if you're ugly, but the guy giving the advice looks like an Abercrombie model and drives a Lambo. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. You don't have any game. You get girls because you look like Channing Tatum and you have a lot of money. Be fucking serious. So if you're watching a dating advice video from a guy who looks like he should be a fucking actor, you know, it, he doesn't know what he's talking about. So naturally, I'm about a 5, maybe a 6, but uh, the way I present myself realistically, I'm about an 8. So uh, even there, you know, there's this time, I think it was like sophomore year of high school, I was like 5 foot 6. I was really short, I was scrawny, I was small, pretty uh, below average looking guy. And I made a comment about how I didn't think I was that attractive. And this girl looked at me baffled and she was like, what? Are you, you're joking, right? And she seriously thought I was joking because I was just so confident and presented myself in such a way that even though I was naturally unattractive, they perceived me as being attractive anyway. So like I said, I'm not here to bullshit you. If you honestly, if you're like 5'1", 300 pounds and and you have the face of an ogre then honestly the only way you're getting gross is if you have a bank account with at least 10 maybe 15 million dollars in it but uh on a scale from one to ten if you're at least like a three or a four somewhere around if you're at least like a 3.5 which you probably are you can boost yourself up to above average status and start pulling it's really not that hard so, here are six tips that will help you get girls if you are ugly, in order. So number six is the least important, number one is the most. Tip number six. So this is the least important one, but it's still pretty helpful. Tip number six, work out. Go to the gym, don't be fat, you know, don't be eating fucking McDonald's every day and having acne and stuff and you know go to the gym have a decent looking body the reason this is the least important tip in my opinion is because it's not that important I mean most guys who go out with girls have average bodies it's it's not like the only guys who get girls are bodybuilders that like 2% body fat I mean obviously that's not the case but it is helpful in that the better you your body is it, you know the better the chances of you getting a girl are gonna be uh, obviously if you're fat ass the chances of you getting a girl are gonna be lower than if you have the body of Brad Pitt pretty fucking obvious so if you're fat get rid of the fat if you're scrawny put on a little muscle don't go overboard you know you don't even need to be there every day and shit. you don't need to be tracking your macros and all that shit just have a relatively decent body and you'll be good Tip number five, hair and facial hair. <sighs> a lot of guys, okay, haircuts, honestly, like, you could go from an ugly looking guy to a decent looking guy just by having a good haircut. I mean, look at actors. A lot of times, like, you know, actors will have a haircut and they'll look really good and then they'll have another haircut in a different movie and they'll look like shit. So that's pretty, you know, pretty clear evidence that hair can... It really like make or break you um hmm let me think of an example I, I mean I don't know oh yeah okay so the guy from the vampire diaries uh, Jeremy so in season one he looked like a little emo bitch you know he had the hair down in his face and shit and guy looked pretty ugly uh, and then compared to like the recent seasons where his hair is a lot shorter it's out of his face and stuff he has a little product in it but not so much that he looks like a tool and uh, the guy pretty much went from like a five to a solid eight and uh, and you know off of a haircut another thing is facial hair you can actually grow a beard if you if you grow a beard, you will look better if you're not attractive. But you will look worse if you are attractive. So guys who are naturally very attractive, they have good faces, 
uh, growing a beard can actually make them look worse because it's gonna hide the perfection that is their face. No homo. Whereas if you, oh, I'm just kidding. I am a homo. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not. Or am I? <laughs> but uh, no, I'm not. But uh, if you have an unattractive face, you know, you have weird bone structure and you have some acne or whatever, growing a beard is going to kind of mask the fact that your face is asymmetrical and that you have a weird jawline or whatever. Grow the beard is going to kind of, you know, hide that and it's going to decrease the number of negative points that you have due to those imperfections, which overall is obviously a positive increase. Tip number four, clothes. You gotta be looking decent, okay? I'm not saying you gotta be wearing a $10,000 custom suit and shit, you know, it's, that's ridiculous. You can if you want, I mean, if you're like, if you're in your late 20s, 30s or so, and, and you wanna look good and you wanna wear suits and shit, that's perfectly fine. But uh, if you're in high school, college, you don't wanna be wearing a suit to school, that's just fucking stupid. You just wanna look kinda decent, okay? It doesn't mean you have to spend a lot of money. You can get good clothes from relatively inexpensive stores. Uh, some good cheap ones are like H and M. Um, I think what's that one called? Like Top Top Man, something like that. Um, ASOS. They have some good stuff. I mean, there's there's a lot of a lot of easy cheap stuff you could get. The number one factor is that it fits you well. You don't want it to be baggy and you don't want it to be too thin to where you look like you're like a wannabe bodybuilder trying to show off muscles that you don't have and shit. Nobody likes that. Just like nobody likes it when your shit's too baggy and you look like a swag fag. So you just want to have some decent stuff. It needs to be relatively fitted but not skin tight. It can be plain, it can have a little logo, that's usually the safest bet. Stuff with huge logos and drawings and shit and like political fucking stickers and shit all over them. It, it's going to obviously decrease the chances that you will get a specific girl. The more, I guess, refined it is, the better your chances are, the safer it is. Tip number three, body language. So everybody can tell if you're a bitch or not based on your body language. They can tell how confident you are. They can tell if you're nervous and stuff like that. Uh, it's just pretty obvious. You could tell. Um, and it's not just the obvious stuff. A lot of people will point out things like, oh, you got to stand up straight. You got to be smiling and have good posture and stuff. It's not even really that. It's it's because sometimes like you know if somebody is really tired they're not gonna have perfect posture but you can still tell that the guy is a cool guy so really I think the underlying factor here is just confidence and that confidence is going to project through your body language regardless of how hard you try uh, and you can kind of mask it. If you want to mask it, I would say that just smiling a little more, you know, trying to stand up straight, but not unnaturally straight. Uh, don't be looking at the ground when you're walking. I don't even know why people do that because it's obviously stupid. You know, somebody could come up on you. You could jump, you know, bump into something. It's stupid. I don't know why people look at the ground when they're walking. It's not even functional. Um, but yeah, just try to try to look like a normal person when you're walking around. Look like you're going in for a job interview. Don't be all nervous and lanky looking and shit. You know, just don't be weird. I mean, I, I don't even know specific tips. Just look at an actor in a TV show who you think is a badass and then walk like that guy. Tip number two, money. Honestly, <laughs> money trumps almost everything it's not even really that girls are gold diggers it's more about like the experiences that it offers uh at first glance because here's the thing okay you go to a club or a party and you try to pick up a girl and you're like four and a half feet tall girls are not going to take you seriously regardless of how good your personality is you know it's like tinder uh if if you are ugly as fuck and you're two feet tall girls are just gonna pass on you and they're not even gonna get a chance to see your personality so first impression is a relatively important factor that goes into it uh, and having a lot of money is going to give a good first impression and then you could take it from there tip number one most important tip 
how to get girls if you're ugly. Stop being a little bitch. And this is serious. This is the number one. It sounds like I'm joking, but I'm not. This is the number one most important tip. How to get girls if you're ugly. Stop being a bitch. Okay, looks are not the most important thing. The People are trying to push this thing about like, oh, everybody is beautiful. Uh, no, some people are ugly. But the thing is, there's nothing wrong with that. Ugly is not an insult. It's, it's just an adjective to describe a collection of physical attributes and it, it says nothing about you or your personality or anything so you shouldn't care you shouldn't be like oh man I'm ugly that means I'm fucking loser I'm faggot man oh man I'm never gonna get girls man I hate being ugly I hate my fucking life bro you, you know just stop being a loser if you care about it then you are going to be projecting that onto the people that you interact with and they're gonna care about it as well okay the more you draw attention to something the more important it seems to everybody else. So if you're not pulling bitches because you think you're really ugly and you think you're a loser, then the reason you're not pulling is because you kind of project that onto them and they're like, oh, hey, yeah, this guy is pretty ugly and he, he does seem like a loser because that's the image that you are giving them. So tip number one, just stop being a little bitch. That's pretty much it. Those are the six top ways to get girls if you are ugly. Stop worrying. Stop categorizing yourself as, quote, ugly and uh, just do shit. Just do it. Be confident in yourself. Stop worrying about what other people think about you and just do shit. That, I mean, really, that's, the, that's how you get anything done. Just fucking do it. Just do shit. If you don't know how to do it, then just do shit. Just fucking do it and make it happen if you guys have any further tips leave them in the comments below and if you have any questions or other dating advice type of stuff that you need to know leave it in the comments below or come to my website www.lolstat.com and you can talk to me directly on there